Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode 130 of Shunya 1. We have a great episode ahead for you. Uh, unfortunately, Sheila Aditya was not able to join us for the introduction, uh, but he is there for the regular episode. We have Amit Lakotia from Pop Plus as our guest. Amit is one of those really well-known figures in the tech space that if you're in tech, you know who he is. He's done a bunch of amazing things uh, at Paytm, before that at Make My Trip, and now with his own startup, Park Plus. Uh, we talked to him quite extensively about his time at Paytm and some of the innovations that he brought forth at that time. But then we really dive into Park Plus and what kind of things they're doing and how they see uh, the opportunity over here from a parking perspective, from a fast tag perspective and for a bunch of other things. Uh, welcome to the show, Amit. Amit Lakhotia, of course, uh, the founder of Park Plus. Amit, how are you doing? Uh, hi, thank you. Thank you for inviting me, Shiladit. Uh, doing very well. Good to see you. Yes, uh, I know it's good. Time. It is, it is indeed. It's good to catch up with you after so long. And of course, you're, you're in uh, you know NCR. So uh, I think in your Previous pre-pandemic days, I would have uh, kept uh, asking you if you're ever doing a trip to Bombay uh, and we should do this. But of course, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like all our worlds have changed. Uh, and you are in a business which is very interesting uh, and very sort of also, uh, I would say, you know, it start, you launched it at a time when, uh, you know, there are so many challenges and yet so many opportunities for you as well. So. Uh, why don't you give us and everyone listening in a little bit of your uh, background? I mean, obviously you've been in, you've been the been a part of various very large, interesting startups, and uh, I would say not startups anymore, like huge companies, iconic companies. Uh, before you jumped into obviously building what you are today, so if you could give us a little bit of that. Yeah. So I uh, okay. So I've been part of only startups all my life. And yeah. I've seen businesses scaling up fairly well. Uh, like I did my MBA from I'm Ahmedabad in 2007. And then I joined Make My Trip at that point of time. And that is one of those times when startup jobs weren't cool. Actually, yeah. uh, you were supposed to have taken a startup job because you couldn't get a mainstream job. <laughs> and it was for two, three, four years. It you, you was very, very tough, very hard. To explain what was I doing and at make my trip when people were going to Morgan Stanley's and Lehman's of the world from the batch. In fact, uh, somebody even asked me, Amit, did uh, you do a correspondence course from IMA? And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so yeah. my role was to, uh, so I was lucky to work uh, directly with Deep, Deep Kalra, the make my trip founder. He was again an IMA alumni 92 batch. And my role was to build the whole B2B business for our make my trip. Uh, what was good was I got an opportunity to build a business completely independently at that point of time. Uh, mm. Imagine a guy who just passed out, fresh guy who has actually never done any kind of business, who has actually not even led a team. I was like among one of those backbenchers who are like just happy going with the life. Now have the responsibility of not only leading a team, but also building a business. And uh, uh, so I built the B2B business of Make My Trip, which was into travel agents and corporates. Uh, which was, uh, I think, nearly 25 to 30 percent of make my trip size by the time mm -hmm. I left, and wow. the probably the only p profitable piece of make my trip business. Wow, so, <laughs> scaled it fairly well. Uh, so had learned at, at from beginning, like I come obviously from a Marwadi DNA, so like understand like the businesses need to make money at least profitable to break even. Tona zaruri hai. So mm. I built fairly strong business over a period of four years. What I also saw at that time was like internet scaling up, uh, make my trip did an IPO, like saw the pressing the bell at NASDAQ yeah. and which was like a amazing moment kind of a thing. So went through that whole journey. Uh, after that, I joined uh, another small startup called uh, Paytm, uh, was <laughs> again uh, one of the early hires for Paytm. We were doing about, I think, 10, 15,000 recharges a day at that point of time. And... Um, my role was to build the whole payment business for Paytm. So, mm -hmm. like after make my trip, uh, what actually happened was uh, that is the time when Snapdeal was still, in, still into deals. Make uh, Flipkart was mostly still books, etc. So yeah. I wasn't clear that what will sell, like which category will pick off, uh, books, coupons, deals, electronics, whatever. I don't know. But then I realized because of my make my trip experience that whatever category picks up will require payments. 
and payments was like a very very painful process at that point of time getting payment success rate even reverts like at that point of time if you send a email to your uh, payment gateway partner uh, uh, today you might be lucky that you get a revert back in 7 days so <laughs> those kind of wow. uh, uh, things used to happen success rates were poor and uh, uh, like uh, that time a lot of new guys like for example pay you etc they were trying to improve the payment gateway itself like build a layer on top of existing gateways directly integrate with the bank etc but i realized that finally if you have to land on the bank page itself and which the bank has no intention to improve like for mm. banking balance sheets like the banking balance sheets are like this big and uh, mm. payment gateway or payment business at that time was not not even mm. good enough to cover their cost of servers Mm. so like wow. uh, uh, so i was very clear that uh, if you continue to depend a lot on bank for every transaction then uh, this you can't have seamless payments and mm. uh, if you look at uh, there were no other stories like how to make it better if you look at us paypal was saved cards but that was still card uh, and at that point of time i took a call that uh, we probably should allow users to keep money with us so and then allow that user because then i can control the experience of that transaction money right. is with me right now money is with the bank or the credit card company so they control the how the transaction should go through and if the money right. is with me i can then control and uh, rbi had uh, done this uh, ppi thing uh, ppi licenses at that point of time like they used to give it to everyone and most of the people were using the ppi license for remittances Uh, mm-hmm. like you typically walk into a st- offline store give him 5000 rupees cash he uses his ppi in uh, infra to transfer uh, to a bank account in the village so it was like effectively right. used for remittances uh, we did like very very counter intuitive like we will build a ppi was actually also built for uh, uh, the poor people who do not have bank accounts etc we actually completely reverse the thinking and we said let's give ppi to the folks who already people like you and me who already right. have the bank accounts who already would have multiple cards but are more frustrated with uh, the payment quality transactions the like friction would have yeah. friction either in the forward floor or in the reverse flow and there is no clarity etc and obviously at that time there were a lot of discussions saying why would people keep money with you ppi you can't give interest etc and but then i said there will be obviously some um, few guys who would always want who will value the convenience of a better transaction more than some interest that you get in the bank account and that is how we started and interestingly because of recharge as a use case now uh, there is like anyways 30% payment failure that is happening for the first time and even after the payment happens there were 10% failure in fulfillment like the telco systems will go down so i have deducted the money but i can't do the recharge because the telco system yeah. is down yeah so suddenly what started happening was uh, i used to get at paytm tons of complaints around uh, Uh, refund nahi ho raha recharge nahi ho raha and all those kind of stuff and uh, so we all what he said okay let's cre- start creating wallet of people and people were more comfortable like when you talk to more and more customers these were like typically 100 200 250 rupee transactions and people will say boss mujhe ye mat batao refund kab chahiye aapko 10 din mein aayega mujhe recharge karke do so we hmm. understood that people want people are more uh, bothered about getting recharges rather than asking for refund so what we did was obviously put money in the wallet and then make it easy for people to retry automatically yeah. so people don't yeah. have to go through the payment cycle again then we build a feature in which we said okay we'll try for your recharge automatically for next 4 hours yeah. you don't have to try so that took away a lot of pain away from the user's yeah. life and uh, interestingly that time like uh, the whole wave was around e-commerce so nobody right. bothered about payments and there was no payment story actually if you look at paytm board itself Paytm board also was was like, why do we want to build the payment business? There is no payment story globally anyway. So this sounds hmm. very uh, uh, counterintuitive. Yeah. Uh, this is very counterintuitive, but uh, there was actually no payment story globally also at that. Yeah, point the margins okay. were too small. Everyone like actually hmm. people even now discourage anything uh, at the payment volume uh, payment layer of fintech, saying that the margin is not there, so why will you make it? Yeah, it's true. But today, at least, we have a user story. कि यूजर आएगा ट्रांजैक्ट करेगा और उस टाइम पे यूजर व्हेन आई बिल्ड द पेमेंट बिजनेस आई बिल्ड विद अ माइंडसेट दैट विल आई विल मेक इट प्रॉफिटेबल सो आई वाज लाइक अ क्रेडिट कार्ड बिजनेस वर्क्स ऑन अ 1.5% मार्जिन व्हिच गेट्स शेयर्ड बिटवीन इशूइंग एक्वायरिंग मास्टर वीजा स्विचेस एटसेट्रा एंड द क्रेडिट कार्ड बिजनेस आर फेयरली प्रॉफिटेबल 
is it possible for me to build my own payment product where i can charge equivalent 1 and 1/2% and i keep nearly that whole 1 and 1/2% with myself yeah like once money comes in the wallet that is one transaction then right. i have a cost of money coming in the wallet but after that if it goes from uh, user to user to or user to merchant p2p or p2m and if i can keep it circulating within my ecosystem itself then i don't have any mother payment cost the whole money yeah. that i make is my margin like i pay yeah. to you you pay to someone you pay to someone like that whole money imagine if you can make 1% every time that's a massive yeah. sort of money and i also understood that the payment is like a uh, payment is like a network game uh, which would mean that uh, unless most merchant accept you people will not use you and people yeah. will uh, merchants will not accept you if a lot of people don't demand so yeah. in a way you get a chance to create a if you are able to pull it off you will be able to build a very very solid network business which will be very hard for anybody to disrupt correct and i come from a fairly rural background and i have seen in my childhood like uh, when we used to uh, send money to our villages back papa used to send money to villages back he will go and meet a relative who was supposed to go there in 10 days time and he will meet give him 10000 rupees 20000 rupees 30000 rupees cash and then then relative will go when attend is down the line and sometimes it is relative sometimes it's like a broker who will say i'll charge you 5% and you'll say okay yeah. but they then say and then somebody will come to collect and this whole flow will could take anywhere between 15 to 20 days and yeah. could be cost there between 5 to 7% so my idea was like if there is a bank account here and if there is a bank account there the money can go simultaneously and you don't right. require it uh, because if you can transact on mobile you don't require. so actually what, this was a very interesting conversation uh, in 2013 rbi called a lot of us and said how would you define what is success and like people were saying multiple things and i said if i can shut down the whole atm networks of country i think that would be success <laughs> and that is a time <laughs> rbi like they were into how can we get more atms how can we get uh, uh, yeah. uh, white label atms and all that kind of stuff and like it was very counter intuitive to them also yaar hum to yahan pe atm bichhane ki baatein kar rahe hain aur aap keh rahe hain band kara doge and hmm. like uh, so i said why do you require atm you require atm because you have to give money to someone if Correct. you can give through mobile itself why do you require an atm so yeah. matlab but they were like it is a far fetched thinking i don't think so globally bhi nahi hua hai tum kya baatein kar rahe ho etc <laughs> <laughs> so that's very went through that uh, went through the whole paytm journey in fact uh, uh, got the semi close wallet license from rbi started launching wallet first on paytm uh, building a recharge use case and creating wallets educating people on a real time use case like think of this way like every day a lakh transactions used to happen on paytm at recharge like over a period of one and a half two years a lakh lakh and a half uh, and uh, say 10% of them will fail because of telco issues so every day 15000 transactions are failing just because of telco issues so every day wow. actually 15000 wallets are getting created every day 15000 customers are getting uh, like educated about wallet that's like mm. half a million customers wallet getting created every month uh, and uh, education happening and then we started seeing people doing ad money in the wallet directly saying i'll not even go yeah. to the payment flow yeah i'll yeah. just money and then there we also started seeing people use cases like for example where people will put in 2000 rupees 2500 rupees in their parents account papa ye mai account mein aapke 2500 rupees dal diye ab aap aapko jab recharge karna kar lena but jab main meeting mein hu to mereko phone mat karna <laughs> 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 that gave uh, a lot of uh, power even to the parents because for mm-hmm. parents like they you don't want to tell them that use credit card and then otp etc correct 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 interesting otp is a very interesting story we will keep telling ki otp nahi dena hai kisi ko but jab uber ka driver aayega to ha ji usko otp de do jab delivery boy aayega to ha isko otp de do isko bhi otp de do usko bhi otp de do and they are like otp kab nahi dena bhai <laughs> it's using the same language actually you know it's something that i've been kind of really annoyed about of late because you're seeing more and more otps required for delivery and mm-hmm. you know people are like you know uh, elderly people are getting confused with this are kaun sa otp kya when yeah. which otp no, so, so like yeah. my mom uh, called me one day in the middle and she's like this guy is asking me for an otp why i'm not supposed to give otps why should i give him an otp okay. and i'm just like yeah you're not supposed to give otps which are like bank related but then it's it, you know it is it is confusing how do you clarify that language 
in fact we have like funny way of communication we will tell everybody that you should not share your card details with anybody but whenever a bank launches a card it's like a full card on which a number oh, yeah. is written the number might yeah. be fake but there is a number yeah. written there yeah so yeah, yeah the optically a, it looks wrong मतलब एक तरफ तो आप कह रहे हो कि आप नंबर मत बताओ और आप खुद नंबर दिखा रहे हो लाइक हाउ डू यू एजुकेट सो आई वेंट थ्रू दैट होल दिस थिंग एंड लाइक वी स्टार्टेड क्रिएटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ वॉलेट्स वी स्टार्टेड सीइंग पीपल अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ वॉलेट्स वर्क एंड देन वी सेड ओके लेट मी लेट अस मेक इट मोर यूजफुल सो पीपल लाइक होम शॉप एटीन जो वी बुक माय शो लाइक ऑल मोस्टली लेस देन 500 रुपी ट्रांजैक्शन मैंने कहा सबको पकड़ लो और सब पे वॉलेट इंटीग्रेट करते हैं एंड इट वाज हार्ड एक्चुअली एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम because these guys said like uh, customers don't understand wallet I, like uh, these are anyways credit card debit card customers so they can anyways transact through credit card debit card why do they need wallet so selling this whole convenience and success story was very hard for a lot of time for at least 6 months when we started for example on zovi uh, the initial month success rate was nearly 19% because people did not had enough money in the wallet gradually over a period of 3 months it went up to like 70 75% then they were like okay now it is matching my credit card success rate i'll not remove it and but then were you, gradually hmm. were your paytm and uber uh, launched in india because i feel like that was a big thing at least for people like us in terms of starting to adopt paytm wallet huh. so that happened in like september kind of a thing uh, okay. september 2014 ha huh. so something of that sort so where uh, uh, like rbi has uh, rbi made sure that uber is not uh, basically uber was not compliant with rbi guidelines around payments correct, so correct. rbi FN, uber yeah. needed a local player uber needed a local player and uh, like uh, and that time uber was uber like the company and uh, so i used to work from say 10 am to 8 pm in office at ptm come down home and then there is a us call going on with uber guys and saying why should we take you like actually to be honest like there were companies in india who were ready to pay uber a, serv- a payment fee rather wow. than charging them a payment fee so when i sent them my proposal saying i will charge you this payment fee and they're like are you kidding everybody is ready to pay us and uh, <laughs> you are saying we'll charge you and uh, thankfully at that point of time like i had a fairly strong tech product team so like in 3 days i gave them the api document we built a flow which was like far superior to their flows etc and which also allowed cash payments etc and i was like see have any of your guys been able to any of your computer been able to do this my computer has been able to do this they said no we have liked your flow i think you think well and then i said my team took 4 days uh, to build the api now you tell you are telling me that you guys are uber guys can you show me if you can integrate in 4 days <laughs> so, <laughs> nice. These are like challenges and counter challenges being thrown at that point of time. Nice. Uh, actually, when Uber came on Paytm, we were doing about half a million transactions a day, anyways, and Uber was doing about close to about five thousand transactions a day. So, from oh, my okay. volume point of view, Uber was negligible. Right. Hmm. But two things happened. One is that Uber base was like a top one two percent of Indian population at that point of time. because Correct. uber did not even support cash at that point of time and Correct. like everybody used to say i have come in uber and i like i can see yaar uber ki kal to 5000 transaction hui aur 50 log mere office mein hi keh rahe hain ki main uber se aaya hu aise kaise ho sakta hai so like even if you would have chosen any other mode of payment you will still come and say i have come in uber and that is where i realized the power of brand the power of uh, like right, reaching the right audience and then right. amplified paytm as a payment brand what also happened was uh that time uber said uber removed credit card debit card net banking everything and only paytm wow it was for life made easy for uber but for us it was a massive statement because we can now go to the merchants and say see you don't require credit card debit card net banking you require only paytm that's it yeah right and because most of the guys in the merchant side at that level were using uber they started using paytm as well and they also started buying this story that paytm alone is good enough you don't require anything else so right. while they did not remove credit card debit card from their platform but what they started doing was they started putting paytm up and up in the visibility yeah. Yeah. there were tons of merchants where paytm was the first choice and then credit card then debit card and uh, that created a lot of story for us and nice. uh, that is the same time uh, i went to china that alibaba ali pay investment happened and uh, i saw qr codes were working for the first time in my life 
and i realized that uh, oh alipay is so big and that is where everybody started understanding payment is also big mm-hmm. yeah and uh, i said i will uh, there was uh, and i saw qr code literally everywhere in china and say i said this is the probably the only way to do offline payments i came back to india i said i'll put qr codes left right and center everywhere across india and people yeah. were saying you guys are foolish like ye kya kar rahe ho ye kisko samajh aata hai qr payment etc yeah. but we said there yeah. is no way out and uh, yeah. from 2015 onwards we started putting qr codes so actually demonetization happened i think in 2016 and yeah and people said paytm became lucky because of demonetization but people don't realize that even before demonetization like like some 18 months before demonetization we had started putting qr codes nobody else yeah. had even bothered about qr code so we had prepared yeah. very hard on the qr code part and yeah. uh, what also happened was uh, again interesting is uh, like for merchant this was like something unique he want to showcase that he is a tech guy even a small merchant yeah he was It's like kuch dikhana hai mere customer ko aur jab uska koi customer aise kar raha hai to puri duniya dekh rahi hai uske aas paas ki ki bhai ye customer pay kaise kar raha hai and uh, then we did uh, things on mobile as well you put in the mobile number we realized that you are it will still take us some time to educate so why don't we take a first baby step saying you can transfer on the mobile number and okay. that i think massively took off like you started see hearing those use cases where people uh, traveling in a auto say telling the driver bhaiya cash to nahi hai main paytm kar dungi ya number bata do and suddenly mm-hmm. number se paise transfer hote hain became very very hot yeah and all the phases uh, yeah. basically now which we hold as so common i mean with now with upi and all of that right it's just so common mm-hmm. all of i think paytm was just it built the market for all of these things right uh, so in, I, in, I this way like like uh, uh, like flipkart amazon or whoever the other guys were like they were effectively targeting only 15 10, 10 15 million of indian users that's it like for most of the people like it doesn't matter because that is, there is a flipkart or amazon because there is something happening on the ground hmm. but paytm was probably the first product which was used by people like you and me paytm people like uh, your peons and drivers and then even the rickshaw wala and thele wala on the ground like uh, yeah. like it was a even surprising for us that a thele wala is now ready to accept paytm you scan the qr and payment is done and yeah. he is ready to accept so we actually yeah. saw that uh, when you make it very very convenient for people people accept it is not yeah. that uh, people don't accept kind of a thing and uh, that happened then we applied for the banking license got the banking license i left a couple of months after we got the banking license uh, i had an opportunity to, to think of staying for another 5 years and build a bank as well but maine kaha nahi ab aayega and uh, like and no, no. it was a uh, like it was a high stress high velocity high very very intense kind of a journey right and but it i would say i would say what all of what you just shared actually in a way full circle have helped you build what you are also uh, building today which is in another way i mean with with uh, the technologies on hand today is with things like fast tag with all of these things it's after all money in a wallet somewhere it's money in the cloud it's it's uh, we, there's no escaping that right there is no, there, there's that all that experience yeah. have given a lot of confidence that it will take 12 18 months Build the product first. Build the use cases. Yeah, build right. the product market fit. See, ten years back, all now that I run Park Plus, like ten years back, all of us would have stood in line to buy a movie ticket. Like I remember, there used to be a seven rupee movie ticket at uh, PVR uh, Priya. Like you get down from the school bus in the morning itself, people will bunk the school because there was a seven rupee ticket, and uh. they'll watch the movie the whole day. And when the in the afternoon when the bus is coming back, you'd board the bus again. come back <laughs> wow <laughs> nice so, so my so I, so see people used to stand in line and then in last 10 years like for example i don't remember when was the last time i bought a movie ticket offline and this is yeah. despite the fact that book my show even charges a 10 15% service fee so which yeah. would mean that on a 2000 rupee ticket like when four or five family members go you are paying like a 250 basically a extra ticket price correct Correct. We are still comfortable. So again, the same realization that if the product is good and if you are targeting the right audience, see India again has like all set of audience. There is like top top two three five percent audience which are rich can spend etc. Uh, then there is a 
big middle class and then there is obviously financially a class which is more dependent on the survival so while on the paytm when i built the paytm my role was oh we will build the india's first 500 million user product hum hi banayenge and now Correct. i realize ki yaar kya fayda kya hai matlab <laughs> finally it is only 20 25 30 million people matlab wo 2 3 5 crore log hai jinke paas paisa hai only they have the ability to spend the rest everybody Correct. is like surviving for day to day stuff Correct. and uh, that is how i arrived at parking as well because i said uh, all these guys 20 30 50 million people uh, all these guys have either their own car or a family car and uh, this and while we have tons of startups doing tons of things but nobody is solving the pain point which users face on day to day basis like thankfully in Correct. last of 15 months i never had to explain what i am doing Like when you say yeah. I want creating like a book my show of parking, you can book your parking in advance and then go. People are like, "Ye ho bhi sakta hai sa." Mm. And like, like nobody is saying any problem. Samjhao, samajh nahi hai. Everybody ah. understands. At least problem. that's a yeah, yeah. It's a very relevant, very absolutely yeah. relevant problem. In fact, what is the addressable market uh, really for? I mean, we I know we have a lot of cars. We sell a lot of cars. Uh, obviously, different markets, different you know volumes of car types of cars and all that. But what was the user research you sort of went through, uh, which finalized the problem for you? Okay, so I think I faced this I uh, this problem personally a lot at my Paytm stint. Like, mm-hmm. and what used to happen was like you used to take your car, and Paytm office had limited parking spots. So you go course, there, yeah. the guard will look at you, and if you are senior, he'll say, "Chalo, andar chale jao." But for others, he'll say, "Jaga nahi, andar band ho gaya, bar gaya." and there is no way for you to know that bhar gaya then you have to take a u turn go to there is a noida authority parking about uh, 10 minutes away you or uh, 7 minute actually 200 meters but because of u turn and going there itself is 10 minute journey so yeah. you go there and that is like a 40 50 slots now that is also booked then you go back on the road and try to figure out wherever there is an empty space and you'll go and park and uh, uh, at the lunch time you will come down just to see if the car is there in the evening again you'll at a 5 o'clock you'll come down and see if the car is there that kind of stuff so i said if this thing is available on the app itself then why can't it be like for example 500 meters from the office if i can see the parkings available in the ptm office uh, hmm. noida authority and on the road i can straight away go to the place whichever there is a parking available rather than trying to figure out manually uh, those kind of spaces and of then then uh, like all of us like you talk to more people and literally everybody will tell you that they missed first 10 15 minutes of a movie just because they yeah, went yeah. to figure out where the parking is mm-hmm. and uh, even the valet and all those experiences are broken because you don't get valet everywhere so there is no consistency right. so what happens is you don't even get into that habit of like you get into uber you do your call and you get out of uber like there right. were situations with at paytm where i moved out of a taxi and then this there is suddenly a driver coming back and saying bhaiya paise nahi diye and then i realize oh aaj uber nahi li thi kuch aur le liya lagta hai yeah yeah in fact that's kind of what got me like, off driving i to yeah. gave up on driving and just did uber just for this because i didn't want to deal with parking as a hassle so then i realized like see google maps solves 90 95% of your journey it tells you the right. route now like you don't even bother over kahan bata raha hai wo keh raha hai jo google bata raha hai and then mm. but last 5% is painful and that 5% is like very very uncertain like you don't know kahan hoga kya hoga uh, and so you want more certainty there and what has also happened in uh, so this the thought started at that point of time but when mm. i did some level of market research in 2017 18 type i said like people are st- like supply side is still not on phone it is not mm-hmm. like they are still on the basic uh, nokia n1100 type of phones mm-hmm. so like even if you get a booking you can't get it honored like it is just too painful mm-hmm. uh, that is like 2017 types mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but what happened in last couple of years uh, is because of geo everybody has a smartphone now internet connected smartphone tiktok youtube whatsapp now literally even That's these fun. parking operators are connected that is the first thing the second thing what happened was these uh, zomatos and swiggies of the world they have been like they have been able to teach tons of uh, say bike drivers on how to accept an order how to pick an Correct. order deliver an order mark and everything like tons of people are educated now so, or i'll say tons of people of that specific strata is also educated now 
Now Correct. people around them, they understand that if they have an internet connected smartphone, an order would come. You have to fulfill the order. You'll get some money. That education part, which was missing two years back, that infra part of an internet connected smartphone, which was missing two years back, have come in. And incidentally, Correct. last year the COVID happened. Now, in a way, COVID was bad from a parking industry point of view because uh, nobody was going out. But it is yeah. amazing from a digital parking industry. because now nobody wants to touch a manual parchi like yeah. earlier see today delhi's positivity rate today is 24% which means out of 100 guys or even bombay it's like 10% yeah, man. which means out yeah. of 100 guys 10 guys are covid positive now imagine a parking operator if he takes parchi or cash from 100 guy chances are yeah. 10 of them have covid right yeah which would mean that yeah. he will get infected sooner or later now yeah. this parking guy also understand that the car guy has enough options in his life mm. he can work from home for 10 days he can take rest everything is available at his disposal but if i got covid there is nobody to take care of me mm. and that is something which we saw in the migrants moving on and all that kind of stuff so even right. this guy who was the earlier the biggest cash supporter guy because he was able to do some pilferage he was able to do uh, some money here and there now he is also like i don't want cash yeah. now customer doesn't want to exchange parchi with anybody the parking owner is comfortable with the digital because no pilferage and the ground operator also doesn't want parchi so the yeah. whole ecosystem in parking have changed because of this covid mm. so in fact parking was one of the industries which wasn't touched by digital payments even though like if you look at logically it's a 40 50 100 rupee payment this is a small ticket payment it should have yeah. been digitally accepted but because mm. of the way the industry is was structured the cash it was always cash yeah now because of covid digital parking has picked up and what we also see is uh, uh, the number you look at the number of car sales like they are shooting over the roof uh, uh, and uh, look at the businesses of the shared mobility etc a lot of people would be uncomfortable taking a uber ola or something else for at least next 6 12 months these ola uber drivers who have taken loans for their cars assuming they'll continue to earn a 50 70000 a month per month that whole cycle has also been broken so both on yeah. the consumer side and the supply side that cycle is broken the customer who can has his own car can drive his own car and if i am able to give him parking at the right time mm-hmm. see the chances are that the adoption will be very very fast so that is uh, how the journey has been so if i could ask you right i mean like i was looking at your website earlier and uh, you have uh, park plus for malls uh, malls which is fairly obvious right but there were two other parts of the product which i didn't really kind of gra- uh, grasp right one was park plus for corporates and you mentioned a bunch of different corporate customers that you have and the other was park plus for housing societies and that i really didn't understand how that would work sure so i'll explain you park plus for corporates one is like tons of corporate Corporates like Brook, all malls of Brookfield, Blackstone, uh, not malls, all corporate buildings of Brookfield, uh, Blackstone. Now Mind Space, all listed REITs are working with us. Uh, Watiga, all properties with us. Airtel, actually, actually, we went live in Airtel head office in Gurgaon. Uh, so what what is yeah. the problem that we solve for corporate? See, a typical corporate building would have like eight, ten, twenty tenants, hmm. and somebody would have thirty slots, somebody would have fifty slots, somebody would have hundred slots. There is no way for you to know. how many mm. slots of which particular corporate are available this, this is the problem i was solving in 2060 <laughs> 2005 i was trying to solve i would say so yeah. like we have got a certain level of traction out there and uh, like uh, not only within the corporate building we are also digitizing places around the corporate building hmm. like for example airtel office like i know if i can give them 500 slots outside retail office that also will get consumed because so many people come with cars okay. so if you can figure out within the office outside the office on the app it saves time every day it saves stress every day and anyways like the day way you plan your travel is like if you have to reach office at 10 you'll probably plan that you reach at 9:55 you're not even right. taking spare time for your parking and everything so that is our That's- corporate use case and then there is a apartment use case see apartment Co- use corporate case corporates if i'm not wrong i mean there's also a lot of models i'm sorry i mean i'm just now trying to recall all the things 
which i had uh, which i have done purely from a tech rfid standpoint right for corporate tenants by the way even have a model of charging their customers right yeah. like they like if one building has 20 companies each of those companies pay for a certain number of slots and they pay a usage fee and all of that so there's a massive structure around parking in the mm-hmm. behind the scenes ha huh. huh. and yeah. even things like for example like uh, today it doesn't happen as of now but i am assuming from next year you will see this that corporate build parkings are for example available on the weekends people are not going to yeah. office on the weekend if your cor- right. corporate building is just beside the mall and mall needs hmm. parking on weekend and mall parkings are available on weekdays it is possible for me to create uh, an ecosystem yeah, inter- where the corporate guy can park in the mall on the weekdays and the mall guy can park on the corporate on the weekends effectively both the guys are happy mm. and there is more utilization of parking i don't expect this to happen right now but i think in 12 to 15 months this will start happening because this is yeah. going to be again tech driven like some users will get this access not everybody and because it is tech driven i can build it uh, the next is the for apartments see there are now about i think 500 maybe 600 plus apartments which use park plus and what we are trying to do there is uh, we are uh, digitizing the access control from a vehicle point of view what happens today is uh, somebody puts a sticker on the car say my car has a sticker of my society now yeah. what happens is like when i come in the society say in the evening the barrier is down guard will first look at the sticker and then manually put the barrier up so i have to stop every time i am getting in and there might be some times when the guard is not there so i have to press a horn mm-hmm. and everything now uh, what we do is like the, we put a rfid tag on the car system automatically reads mm. uh, the tag and the gate opens so you don't actually have to stop you have to slow down a bit but you don't have to stop and that right. experience is super good because suddenly you are like now you can get in get out and from a guard point of view or society management point of view 95% of burden is taken care of hmm. yeah. so the guard doesn't yeah. now look have to look at any car and effectively if there, there is a car which is not of the society the barrier will not go up so right. now the guard knows right. that you are not a part of the society so rather than looking at 100 cars you have to look at only five relevant cars and mm-hmm. if you have the same if your office also with me then the same tag works everywhere so you don't have to put one tag for your office one tag for your home one tag for your previous company one tag for your next company this was actually the dream which i i remember doing 2005 to 2010 uh <laughs> pre everything pre mobile pre whatever i was saying are rfid sticker laga do aapko kaam aayega aapko ye hoga uh, but uh, but amit this this uh, you know you obviously have solved this with park plus you have the park plus tag uh, there's also another part of the business or rather the part of this digitization which i think you have been able to ride which is the whole fast tag piece and could you talk about how much that has sort of uh, amplified you know the, the adoption of this sort of a business Hmm. so like uh, with park plus tag actually i wanted to build india's private fast tag the way yeah. i built in private payment network but when i realized that government is obviously pushing for fast tag i said uh, let's not lose the battle in trying to build hmm. our own because finally what we are trying to solve for a consumer problem we are not Correct. solving for building a private tag we are solving for user problem and if Correct. fast tag allows you to quick uh, quickly roll out then it should be good kind of a thing so we actually partnered with idfc we are today their private biggest private issuer of fast tags uh, fast tag obviously helps us a lot because n- now a lot more people are educated about how the rfids work if you Correct. just tell them that you will get the same toll experience at your society or the mall they understand it otherwise they yeah. were never able to understand it like earlier they were like if you tell them that before fast tag you have to stand wait in the queue at the toll for 5 minutes or maybe 3 minutes and then the car will just keep moving stopping moving stopping moving stopping and then and now you don't have to stop now it is seamless so they are now yeah. able to relate to the experience i think one of my biggest learning both at ptm as well as park plus is uh, till the time that there are very limited users who can visualize the experience till the time people can't don't experience it themselves samajh nahi aata hai like Correct. i give you an previous experience uh, like most indians they started with like a water cooler at their homes jab ac ki baat hoti thi to hamesha ye hota tha yaar ac bahut mehanga hota hai bahut bijli ka bill aata hai and somebody you will then get it and say jab mehman aayenge tabhi chalayenge otherwise we'll uh-huh. switch on the ac like for two months the kid is studying and saying it is so hot 
then you will say okay let me switch on the ac for you then you are like oh i have come tired from the office okay let me switch on the ac for you and suddenly before you realize the ac is on 24 hours <laughs> yeah and so bill aata rehta hai the earlier your electricity bill was like say 2000 rupees now it is 10000 rupees you keep looking at the bill and you keep grumbling and you say oh man will not pay the bill all the time but wo band nahi hota hai somehow so you make it like a so what i'm trying to say is and now people want that when they switch off enter the home ac will switch on when you get out iot it is it should automatically switch off like why should i even wait for the room to but like by the time i am yeah. in the room should be cold like wow. so what i'm saying is uh, you have to make people experience the experience that you are trying to sell if you don't make people experience while you can tell them you can make them visualize like but like for example if the book my show would not have been there i could have never told them that you can book parking in advance now it is easy because book my show is there i can say the way you book your movie ticket even you come on time your seat is available the guy understands yeah. it when i told tell them because of fast tag the friction at toll has gone away and the guy looks at ha ab line mein nahi khada hona pata acha acha aisa hi hoga theek hai badhiya fir so my selling becomes easier so earlier right. the selling was hard because of the fast tag the selling is easier because of the sure. experience of what also happens gradually is uh, like npci has and ihncl have just allowed uh, fast tag to be used for parking charges as well so which mm-hmm. would mean that you mm-hmm. can get in get out of the parking the charges get debited automatically the way toll charges get debited so you don't have to even stop correct like you can just get in like for example when you go to phoenix kurla next time you will see our magic mm-hmm. actually oh. most of the malls of bombay are coming with us like hmm. next time like give us couple of months like which most of the bigger malls in bombay if you go you will not have to take a manual purchase you don't have to roll down your windows no discussion seamless entry seamless exit two months lovely <laughs> that's the world we all want right i mean it's it's slowly slowly we are getting there and, and you the- direct people to specific parking spots within the malls uh oh. uh this so we in specific malls we are creating parking zones okay so i'm saying this is a park plus zone okay there's a mm-hmm. park plus zone like i might not know because see, putting filling exact slot is expensive because you require sensor etc and mm-hmm. people may not be comfortable putting a hardware see my idea is what is the main problem main problem is uh, parking entry is taraf hai ha ha even is the entry exit make it smooth एंड सेकंड पार्किंग किस तरफ है आप वहां चले जाओ वहां पे है सो लास्ट माइल आई कैन स्टिल फिगर आउट अमंग द टॉम्स 10 स्लॉट्स व्हिच इज एम्प्टी बट गाइड मी टू व्हिच 10 स्लॉट्स दैट इज व्हाट वी आर सॉल्विंग फॉर एंड इफ यू वुड हैव बुक्ड इन एडवांस यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट देयर इज अ पार्किंग जोन एट द एंट्री ऑफ द पार्किंग इटसेल्फ एंड एक्चुअली व्हाट वी आल्सो वांट टू बिल्ड इज वी वांट टू पार्टनर विद प्लेयर्स एंड से वैले इज अवेलेबल सो व्हाई डू यू नीड टू गो टू पार्किंग लाइक जस्ट गो टू द मॉल एंट्री वैले इज देयर ही टेक्स योर कार ही टेक्स इट and whenever you want to come back the car comes back automatically so right. you don't even have to in 10 minutes see what happens from a mall point of view like when we go to a mall we have a time limit in mind 3 ghanta 4 ghanta 5 ghanta now in this 3 4 5 ghanta it is important for me as a customer and it is important for you as a mall and merchant that you spend time within the mall rather than spending yeah. in the parking <laughs> because parking is like you don't monetize that a lot yeah. versus the time you time spending 10 minutes first parking and another 5 7 10 minutes figuring out where did i park my car and trying to get out of the queue like i am taking 30 minutes out like yeah. out of a four hour journey if 30 minutes were there which are non productive from a mall point of view mall can make it more productive by saying and the experience become better because you don't have to go down and then figure out acha kaun se lift se upar jana hai kaise karna hai you straight away go to the mall enter it yeah, yeah. do your shopping at the car comes back automatically So I'm saying one of the reasons why people take Uber Ola hmm. is because they don't want to park in the end. They don't want to spend time in that friction. I'm saying either I can give you the slot, or if you don't even want the slot, I can give you a valet. The valet is available. Right. Valet will take your car, and valet will be available everywhere. So then you don't have to bother. Like for example, if you go to say BKC today, you have to figure out where to go and park. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, so SV road car, the- dude. SV road car. SV road car. all so the bombay there is tons of places where which need park just for sure <laughs> so my idea is like if you i either i give you a slot or if you don't even want a slot somebody will come and take your car park somewhere yeah. 
when you want it the car will come back because what the other problem is with uber ola you have to anyways budget in those extra 10 15 minutes so some of the other right wait for the car to come yeah wait for the car to come aayega tab aayega uske baad bhaiya kahan ho aur bhaiya kahan hai wo bhagwan jane लाइक भैया का मूड है तो भैया आएंगे भैया का मूड है तो भैया नहीं आएंगे एंड द प्रॉब्लम लेस सीवियर इन बॉम्बे बट इट इज वेरी सीवियर इन दिल्ली एंड बैंगलोर सो व्हाट आई थिंक इज एंड एनीवेज लाइक पर्सनल मोबिलिटी इज एनीवेज देयर यू ऑलरेडी हैव अ कार सो इफ द लास्ट वाइल गेट्स सॉल्व्ड देन द होल टेक्निकली होल जर्नी गेट्स बेटर यू यू मेक अ एक्चुअली रियली इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट राइट आई हैव बीन विदाउट अ कार नाउ फॉर अबाउट 4 और 5 इयर्स राइट एसेंशियली सिंस उबर एंड ओला बिकेम लाइक रियल इजीली अवेलेबल इन बॉम्बे राइट एंड द मेन प्रॉब्लम इज द पार्किंग दैट इज द दैट दैट्स द नंबर वन रीजन फॉर इट Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like you know, if the parking part gets solved, or the parking park is no not as much of a problem. Yeah, I might go back to a car because again, in this uh, pandemic world, I don't necessarily want to be sitting with a new driver every day, right? Mm-hmm. And so it it does make a lot of sense. A good time for this. Yeah. Uh, so that is reflected in the car numbers, like the car numbers, like old car as well as new car number sales have been shooting over the roof for last six mm-hmm. months. and it still remains very strong so it is not like it is like a one time phenomenon and all these cars who are coming in the market obviously would need tons of things right yeah so what is uh, i mean going ne- go- uh, obviously the, like you said the pandemic it's created opportunities as well as obviously it has you know uh, ch- probably changed the pace of rollout of a lot of things which you thought uh, would do have you have you uh, has this changed your sort of value proposition over time are you trying new things uh what is next coming up and like you know what are, what is the next 6 months or 10 12 months look for on the pandemic side like the supply side of the problem got solved the consumer side is still to be solved significantly because right. a lot more people will go out regularly only once the pandemic or things are over uh, what we did was so we started with the parking as a use case bigger use case and we middle flip to access as a bigger use case the one which i talked about like today there are right. like uh, we are the biggest uh, installer of boom ba- boom barriers across country in less than 15 months like i have wow. already have like 1500 gates uh, with me uh, and every month we are installing close to about 100 plus gates across corporate apartments and this thing and uh, putting hardware takes effort like it is not a digital solution somebody has to go it and it has to work i think uh, there is a lot of effort that we have put in that direction and then there are other things around for example chalan then things around like for example we partnered with car deco for showing you your second hand car pricing we partnered with eco to sell insurance etc so the way we are building is uh, parking as a use case is something what we are starting and then we are saying we'll partner with different service providers there are enough guys uh, in respective verticals of car like there are three four guys in buying and selling of cars there are three four guys in servicing of car there are three four guys in insurance of cars like mm. there are guys in drivers there are guys in valet so wherever there is no guy i'll build it my own so one of my biggest learning from ptm is like ptm try to build everything on his own like they went into movie tickets they destroyed margins of bookmyst too as well as burnt money themselves like they went into flight tickets they reduced the margins for make my trip and they burnt money of their own see my idea is very clear i want to partner wherever there is a reliable partner i want to partner there is a certain set of money that that, that is to be made i am perfectly fine sharing that money with the respective service provider rather than trying to think i'll build everything of my own i don't want to build everything my own but what i want to ensure is the customer gets the right service customer came to me for x he gets x for sure that x doesn't need to be necessarily delivered or fulfilled by b and i'm happy telling the brand of that partner to the customer as well so i'm happy today for example telling that car dekho is saying your car is valued at 3 lakh and if you want i can help you register with as a lead at car dekho and then car dekho guy will come in i'm happy mm-hmm. doing that too so effectively the partners are anyways today spending money on customer acquisition whether google mm-hmm. facebook or something else i'm saying you are already with spending why don't you spend on me i'll drive mm-hmm. customers to you for me it is an additional service i'm not looking to build all services in house right Awesome, awesome. So, I mean, uh, you know, going forward, uh, where, do you want to do like a shout out to where people can reach you? Where are you? Uh, is is your Twitter handle or uh, LinkedIn or 
if anyone wants to get in touch and of course wherever where all fast plus is available i know uh, the uh, the website of course they can just go ahead or download the app uh, to try it out right so i am fairly active on twitter uh, more responsive on linkedin like search for amit lakotia and like i think there are very limited profiles with that combination <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my email uh, to, uh, email id is amit at myparkplus.com so if you want to reach out you can send an email there as well those are perfect. all the places that i have. perfect amazing okay. uh, i'll just uh, quickly do a quick reminder for everybody who's listening please do do a review or a rating wherever you're listening if you're on apple or spotify or castbox wherever you are please do do a rating and uh, you know talk to shilda or me on twitter as well and we will get back to you to there Yes indeed and thank you so much Amit this was I mean I am personally like I said I can't keep saying this more often I am personally so happy to see uh, something which I you know I uh, I was uh, I was trying to build on more than almost <laughs> more than 10 years ago uh, come to life and uh, of course it's amazing to see that we are all you know making our lives a lot more efficient though every time we step outside uh, in our cars so thank you so much looking forward to catching up with you in real life also uh, so, uh, very yeah. soon again when the world opens up and uh, trying out uh, my park plus tag whenever i can next sure thank you thank, thank you so much take care bye bye